Rejoice, O unwedded bride. O thou, my help, deliver me from harm and all adversity. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. And by the prayer show me to be an heir of immortality. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. O pure and virgin lady, O spotless Lord of rejoice, O unwedded bride. O virgin queen and mother, O do we fleece most sacred, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O white transcending heaven above, O beam of light, most radiant, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O joy of chaste and virgin maids, Surpassing all the angels, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O brilliant light of heaven above, most clear and most radiant, rejoice, O unwedded bride. Commanding G. of holies, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O ever-virgin Mary, O mistress of creation, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O bride, O pure and spotless, So unwedded bride. O holy Mary, bride and queen, O cause of our rejoicing, rejoice, O unwedded bride. O maiden queen, most honorable, O mother. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. More precious than the cherubim, more glorious than the seraphim. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Surpassing the principalities, dominions, thrones, and powers rejoice O unwedded bride rejoice song of the cherubim rejoice him of the angels rejoice O unwedded bride rejoice O of the same So unwedded bride. Rejoice, O oh peace, rejoice, O oh joy, and heaven of salvation. Rejoice, O oh unwedded bride. 
joy so unwedded bright. Rejoice, delight of paradise, rejoice, life everlasting, rejoice so unwedded bright. Rejoice, O holy tree of life, and found of immortality, rejoice, O unwedded bride. I supplicate thee, lady, I humbly call upon thee, rejoice, O unwedded So unwedded bride. O spotless and most honored maid, O lady, O holy, rejoice, O unwedded bride. I call upon thee fervently, thou Rejoice, O unwedded bride. O thou, my help, deliver me from harm and all adversity. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. And by thy prayer show me to be an heir of it. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. O pure and virgin lady, O spotless Theotokos, rejoice, O unwedded unto the God of gods, alleluia, for his mercy endureth forever, alleluia. I give thanks unto the Lord of gods, alleluia, Endureth forever, Alleluia. To him who alone hath wrought wonders, Alleluia, for his mercy.
stars for dominion of the night. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. For him that stood Egypt with their firstborn. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever, alleluia. And let forth Israel out of the midst of them, alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever, alleluia. unto the God 
God of heaven, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, hallelujah, for his mercy Understanding, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, hallelujah. To him that established the earth upon the waters, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, with their first born, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, hallelujah. And let forth Israel out of the midst of them, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, Hallelujah. With a strong hand and a lofty arm, Hallelujah. For His mercy endureth forever, Hallelujah. To Him that divided the Red Sea into parts, Hallelujah. For his mercy endureth forever, hallelujah. And let Israel through the midst of their love, hallelujah. For his mercy endureth forever, in the Red Sea, hallelujah, for his mercy endureth forever, hallelujah. To him that led his people through the wilderness, 
praise, alleluia, for his mercy endure forever, alleluia. To him that smote great kings, alleluia, for his mercy endure forever, Through my deep things, Alleluia, for his mercy endure forever, Alleluia. Say on, King of the Amorites, Alleluia, for his mercy endure forever. Son, Alleluia, for his mercy endureth forever, Alleluia. And gave their land for an inheritance, Alleluia, for his mercy endureth forever, Alleluia. For Israel, his servant, Alleluia, for his mercy endure forever, Alleluia. For in our humiliation, the Lord remembered us, Alleluia, for his mercy endure. Forever, Alleluia. And redeemed us from our enemies, Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever, Alleluia. He that giveth food to all flesh, Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever, Alleluia. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever, Alleluia. Oh, give unto the Lord, for he is good. Alleluia, for his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia.
was buried and arose from the grave on the third day. Arise, shine, arise, shine, O new Jerusalem, shine, for the glory of the Lord has arisen upon you. Zion, exalt and be glad now, O pure mind. Surpassing all.
Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Archbishop Alexios, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servants of God, Ambrose and Mary, who are being betrothed, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That there may descend upon them perfect and peaceful love, and the help of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That they may be preserved and blessed in concord and sound faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That they may be kept in blameless life and conduct. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the Lord our God will grant them an honorable marriage and a marital bed undefiled. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all the distress, anger, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves to one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh, eternal God, who brought things divided into unity and established an unbroken bond between them, who blessed Isaac and Rebekah and made them heirs of your promise, bless these, your servants, guiding them to every good work. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And Spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o, Lord. o Lord, our God, who have espoused the church as a pure virgin from out among the Gentiles, bless these rings and unite and preserve these your servants in peace and concord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, Ambrose, is betrothed to the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Ambrose, is betrothed to the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Ambrose, is betrothed to the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Mary, is betrothed to the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Mary, is betrothed to the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
the servant of God, Mary, is betrothed to the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord our God, who accompanied the servant of the patriarch Abraham to Mesopotamia, when he was sent to find a bride for his master Isaac, and through the watering of the well revealed to him that he should betroth Rebekah, bless the betrothal of each your servants, Ambrose and Mary, and confirm the promise that they have given to each other. Fortify them with your divine unity, for you from the beginning created male and female, and by you and your will is woman joined to man for help and for the continuation of the human race. Yes, Lord our God, who sent your truth upon your inheritance and your promise upon your servants, our fathers, your chosen ones from generation to generation, look down upon your servants, Ambrose and Mary, and strengthen their betrothal in faith, in concord, in truth and love. For it was you, O Lord, who taught us to give our pledge through a ring and to remain faithful in everything. Through a ring, the authority was given to Joseph in Egypt. Through a ring, Daniel was glorified in the land of Babylon. Through a ring, the true identity of Thamar was discovered. Through a ring, our heavenly father showed mercy on the prodigal son, for he said, put a ring on his finger and bring the fatted calf and kill it so that we can eat and rejoice. Your right hand, O Lord, enabled Moses to cross the Red Sea. By your true word, the heavens were made firm and the earth was established. And the right hand of your servant shall be blessed by your mighty word and by your upraised arm. Do you now, O Master, bless this putting on of rings with a heavenly blessing, and may an angel of the Lord go before them all the days of their life. For you are the one who blesses and sanctifies all things, and to you do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. shall enjoy the fruits of your labors. Blessed are you, and all shall be well with you. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine on the walls of your house, your children like newly planted olive trees round about your table. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. See, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you enjoy the blessings of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be on Israel. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbytery, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servants of God, Ambrose and Mary, who are now being joined to each other in the communion of marriage, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this marriage may be blessed as was the one in Cana of Galilee. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they may be granted mature judgment and children for their benefit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
that they may rejoice by seeing sons and daughters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they may be blessed with fair offspring and a righteous life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they and we may be granted all requests for our salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That they and we may be delivered from all distress, anger, danger, and want. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves to one another and our whole lives to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, and now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh God, most pure, the maker of all creation, in your love for man, you transformed the rib of our forefather Adam into woman and blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply and have dominion over the earth. And you made the two of them one member through union. For this reason shall man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his own wife and the two shall be one flesh. And those whom God has yoked together, let no man separate. You blessed your servant Abraham by granting Sarah offspring and made him the father of many nations. You gave Isaac to Rebekah and blessed their child. You joined Jacob to Rachel and from him brought forth the twelve patriarchs. You united Joseph and Asenath and granted them Ephraim and Manasseh as offspring. You responded to Zecharias and Elizabeth and made their son the forerunner. From the root of Jesse you brought forth in the flesh the ever-virgin Mary, from which you became incarnate and were born for the salvation of the human race. In your inexpressible grace and great goodness, you traveled to Cana of Galilee and blessed the wedding there. In order to show that lawful union and the procreation of children from it are indeed your will. Do you all, Holy Master, accept the prayer of us, your supplicants. And as you were there with them, be here also with us through your invisible presence. Bless this marriage and grant to your servants, Ambrose and Mary, a tranquil life, long years, mature judgment, love for each other in the bond of peace, long-lasting posterity, grace on their children, a crown of everlasting glory. Make them worthy to see their children's children. Preserve their marital bed inviolate and bestow upon them the dew of heaven from above and all the riches of the earth. Fill their home with wheat, wine, and oil and with every good thing so that they may give to those in need and grant to those here present all their requests that lead to salvation. For you are the God of mercy and compassion and love, and to you we ascribe glory, together with your beginningless Father, and your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, celebrant of the mystical and pure marriage, lawgiver of the marriage of the body, guardian of incorruption, and righteous steward of the gifts of this life. In the beginning, O Master, you created man and established him as the king of creation and said, it is not good that man should be alone on earth. Let us make a helper fit for him. And taking one of his ribs, you formed a woman. And when Adam saw her, he said, this at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, for she shall be called a woman because she was taken out of her man. For this reason shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his own wife and the two shall be one flesh and those whom God has yoked together, let no man separate. Do you now, Lord and Master, our God, send down your heavenly grace upon your servants, Ambrose and Mary, and grant that this maiden may be in all things respectful of the man, and that this your servant may be the head of the woman, so that they may live according to your will. Bless them, O Lord our God, as you blessed Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah, Jacob and all the patriarchs, Joseph and Asenath, Moses and Zipporah, Joachim and Anna, Zacharias and Elizabeth. Guard them, O Lord our God, as you guarded Noah in the ark, Jonah in the belly of the whale, and the three holy youths from the fire by sending down upon them dew from heaven, and let there come upon them that great joy which the blessed Helen had when she found the precious cross. 
Remember them, O Lord our God, as you remembered Enoch, Shem, and Elijah, as you remembered your holy forty martyrs, on whom you sent down crowns from heaven. Remember, O Lord our God, the parents who brought them up, for the blessing of parents make firm the foundation of homes. Remember, O Lord our God, your servants, the attendants who have come together to share in this rejoicing. Remember, O Lord our God, your servant Ambrose, and your handmaid of God, Mary, and bless them. Grant them the fruit of the womb, fair children, oneness of soul and body. Exalt them as the cedars of Lebanon, as a luxuriant fine. Graciously give to them the fullness of blessing, so that being sufficient in everything, they may abound in every good work that is acceptable to you. And may they see their children's children like newly planted olive trees around about their table. And having pleased you in every way, may they shine as the stars of heaven in you, our Lord, to whom are due all glory, dominion, and worship, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. O holy God, who created man out of dust, and from his rib fashioned woman, whom you joined to him as a helper fit for him, for it seemed good to your majesty that man should not be alone on the earth, do you now, O master, stretch out your hand from your holy dwelling place, and join your servant Ambrose and your servant Mary. For by you is woman joined to man, yoke them in oneness of mind, crown them into one flesh, grant them the fruit of the womb, the joy of fair children. For yours is the dominion and yours is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The servant of God, Ambrose, is crowned for the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Ambrose, is crowned for the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Ambrose, is crowned for the servant of God, Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Mary, is crowned for the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Mary, is crowned for the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Mary, is crowned for the servant of God, Ambrose, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You placed a crown of precious stones on their heads. They asked you for life, and you gave it to them length of days. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, always for everything, give thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Be subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its savior. As the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be also subject to everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, that he might present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Even so, husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife 
loves himself. For no man ever hates his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. This is a great mystery, and I take it to mean Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, Lord, glory to you. At that time, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, And the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding Twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when men have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This is the first of his signs Jesus did in Cana in Galilee, and he manifested his glory. And his disciples believed in him. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, and salvation for the servants of God, Ambrose and Mary, the newlyweds, along with their attendants, parents, relatives, and all who are here present. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God, and to you do we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, who in your saving dispensation declared marriage honorable by your presence in Cana of Galilee, keep in peace and concord your servants Ambrose and Mary, whom you have been pleased to join together. Cause their marriage to be honorable. Preserve their marital bed undefiled. Grant that they may live together without spot of sin and make them worthy to attain a ripe old age, fulfilling your commandments with a pure heart. For you are our God, the God of mercy and salvation, and to you we ascribe glory, together with your beginning as Father, and your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. And make us worthy, Master, with boldness and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say all together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our God, who made all things by your power and established the world and adorned the crown of everything that you made, bless with a spiritual blessing this common cup, which you offer to those joined in marriage. For your name is blessed and your kingdom is glorified of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Be magnified, O bridegroom, like Abraham, and be blessed like Isaac, and multiply like Jacob, walking in peace and fulfilling in righteousness the commandments of God. And you, O bride, be glorified like Sarah, and be glad like Rebekah, and multiply like Rachel, rejoicing in your own husband, and observing the requirements of the law, for so God is well pleased. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our God, who went to Cana of Galilee and blessed the marriage there, bless also these your servants of God, Ambrose and Mary, who by your providence have been joined together in the community of matrimony. Bless their goings out and their comings in. Grant them a life full of good things. Take up their crowns into your kingdom and preserve them undefiled, blameless and beyond reproach to the age of ages. Peace be on to all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, Lord. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the all holy and consubstantial and life giving Trinity, the one Godhead and kingdom, bless you and grant you long life, beautiful children, progress and life and growth and faith, enrich you with all the good things of the earth, and make you worthy to enjoy the blessings promised to us. Through the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints. Amen. Glory to you, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Master, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, who by his coming to Cana rendered marriage honorable through the intercessions of his all-pure Mother, of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, 
of the holy God-crowned rulers, equal to the apostles Constantine and Helen, of the holy great martyr Procopius, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is a good God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. After they've stood here for all this time, I'm going to make them endure a few more minutes. It's been my pleasure to get to know Robert and Jennifer, Ambrose and Mary and their church names. A very faithful and dedicated couple. And um, I just wanted to say, you know, a little something about the crowns. This is one of the unique features of our Orthodox wedding ceremony is that we crown them. And this is the symbol of their marriage together. Why do we use these crowns? The crowns date back to the ancient Olympics in ancient Greece where the, the victors would be crowned with these, with these crowns of laurels. In the early church, in the first 300 years of Christianity, there were 11 million martyrs for the Christian faith. And it was often uh, depicted and talked about that they were crowned just as St. Paul talks about those who finish the race receiving the crown of life. So these crowns are given as the crowns of the martyrs. So on the one hand, the crowns do symbolize that they're being crowned king and queen of their own household now. But the deeper meaning is the crowns of the martyrs because marriage, brothers and sisters, is a martyrdom. It's a mutual martyrdom that we enter into voluntarily. We sacrifice our own will for the sake of the other, out of love. This is a martyrdom. There's a contemporary relationship uh, specialist who likes to say that marriage is God's people-making machine. Marriage is the crucible that we go through that makes us who we are, that forms us as Christians. In the Orthodox Church, there are two paths. One is the monastic way, which is for a very few who have been called to monasticism. The vast majority of us are called to a life of marriage. The second way, they're both equal. They're not one is better than the other. But these are the two ways toward our salvation. So this marriage is not just for happiness. It's for our salvation. So I pray that Robert and Jennifer use this marriage as an opportunity, as I see them already doing in the relationship, to work toward their salvation. To work out their salvation with fear and trembling, as St. Paul tells us in Philippians. So, with that, uh, uh, I will say uh, just an announcement that uh, as you uh, exit, as you're exiting the church, you'll turn to your left and you'll go up the first row of steps. The first row of steps, you'll find restrooms. You'll also find uh, instructions for the table assignments. If you keep going up the second st set of steps, you'll enter the banquet hall where the tables are. So please, those who are invited, please join us uh, at the reception. Thank you for being here at Robert and Jennifer's wedding. And it, with the extended family members, stay for just a few moments uh, and to take some photos. Now, finally, you may kiss the bride.
Teach me, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O woman? Disciples, thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the murmuring women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me, teach me your statutes. Very early in the morning, the Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me, teach me your statutes. When the murmuring women had come with their spices to your sepulchre, O say. of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God he has risen from the sepulchre. Yeah.
joy in place of sorrow. Heigho, from you became incarnate God and man, as directed to love him who fell from me. Thank you. Thank you for being patient. Oh, no, no, like no. Thank, thank you for. That's okay. Thank you for. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Thank God. Thank God. Then we can bring you to visit T-Chat now. Yes, yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.